Hi, welcome to Take 5, where we daily consider devotional thoughts from Oswald Chambers' book, My Utmost for His Highest. Today is February 12th, and the title of today's lesson is, Are You Listening to God? They said to Moses, You speak with us, and we will hear, but let not God speak with us, lest we die. Exodus 20 and verse 19. Today's focus scripture is drawn from the time of God giving Moses the Ten Commandments from the top of Mount Sinai. Verse 18 reads, All the people perceived the thunder and the lightning flashes and the sound of the trumpet and the mountain smoking, and when the people saw it, they trembled and stood at a distance. This was unlike anything which they had experienced before, being in the presence of God, and they were terrified. They knew of God's relationship with Moses, of how God had used him to be the leader of the people out of the slavery of Egypt. They recognized the bond between God and Moses, but didn't possess a like bond themselves. And so this encounter with God served to frighten rather than encourage them of God's presence with them. They wished for Moses to remain their intercessor. Chambers begins, we don't consciously and deliberately disobey God. We simply don't listen to him. It will aid our understanding by taking an example from something of which we are all likely familiar, the disobedient attitude of a teenager. When told to do something, there will be times, perhaps often, when they will defiantly refuse to obey. This lack of obedience can stem from any number of reasons. Perhaps it is a lack of regard or respect for the one telling them to do something. This can go even deeper when it involves a parent figure. It can be rooted in lack of love for the mom or dad or grandparent, whoever is accountable for their upbringing. Secondly, it could be a lack of understanding as to why they must obey whatever is being told them. Don't go to to a certain place. Don't hang out with a certain people. Don't dress in a certain way. Things of that type. Or it may be a lack of humility, an overconfidence in oneself, often due to immaturity. I will do as I please. I am capable of making my own decisions. A stubborn child will want what they want when they want it. Now, if you take a moment and transfer this illustration to one's relationship with God, you will agree that it is quite applicable. A lack of respect, a lack of understanding uh, as to the why, and a lack of humility to give over charge of one's life to God All three travel from natural relationships to our relationship with God. Chambers states, We pay no attention to his commandments, not because of willful disobedience, for who is a fool that would say they believe in God, yet stare him in the eye and say, I'm not going to do that. No, no, but rather, as Chambers continues, but because we do not truly love and respect him. No believer wants to... uh, be accused of not loving God, but such attitude is demonstrated by actions of disobedience, which God calls sin. Jesus said, if you love me, keep my commandments. John 14 and verse 15. Chambers says we show how little love we have for God by preferring to listen to his servants rather than to him. What Dr. Chambers is addressing here is vitally pertinent, yet will likely be uh, ignored or disregarded by many. Why is it that we prefer listening to others speak to us about God rather than our personally dealing with Him? Chambers writes, It is because we know that when God speaks, we must either do what He says or tell Him we will not obey. He's saying that when we hear the teaching of someone, we act as though it's Uh, Kind of an obedience is optional because what they are speaking can be considered as their opinion and therefore perhaps not right. But when we go ourselves to the source of truth, the Bible, and read it and he speaks to us from it, then our only options are to obey or not. Chambers asks, am I constantly humiliating God by ignoring him while he continues to treat me? as his child. If you haven't yet read today's devotional from Dr. Chambers' book, I encourage you to do so, for it will greatly enhance the time that we spend together. It's available online. I invite you to share here your thoughts from today's study, perhaps any questions that you have, 
And also please share prayer requests that you have as well. And now may God's grace and peace be ours as we seek to live our, li our utmost or His highest. Thanks for being here today. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Have a good day.